I risk my life to tell y'all these truths. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you another one that'll, they'll have me crucified by the morning, watch. Tyler Perry and Oprah are the biggest voices in the industry. When it comes to fame and popularity, no one's doing it better than them. However, the two have been up to some shady business. The streets are saying that they have been plotting against other black actors. But luckily, Cat Williams has come to save the day. Cat has been on a mission to expose everyone in the industry. And first on his list is Tyler Perry and Oprah. According to Williams, Tyler and Oprah have a dark agenda against black actors in the industry. Now this isn't the first time the two have been accused of having it out for fellow black actors. But this time it looks like Kat has had enough and is making sure that the two are held accountable for their crimes. Tyler and Oprah have been accused of lowballing and blacklisting black actors instead of taking advantage of their position to uplift the black community. Just what did Kat Williams say? Do Tyler and Oprah actually have a dark agenda against black actors in the industry? Welcome back to Star Spills where we will talk about how Cat Williams exposed Tyler Perry and Oprah's dark agenda against black actors. But before we give you the tea, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Cat Williams has made a name for himself by saying things that others won't. When he became aware of Oprah and Tyler's sinister plans, he just couldn't hold back. Instead, he made it his personal mission to not only expose them, but also anyone who planned to harm the black community. Now, Oprah Winfrey is an American host and television producer. She started her career as one of the youngest news anchors. Her show, The Oprah Winfrey Show, is iconic where she goes on to interview celebrities, discussing social issues like cancer and charity work. Winfrey has also produced and co-starred in the miniseries, The Women of Brewster Place. Safe to say, she owns the game. However, Oprah's also been busy with other stuff while making her mark in the industry, and that's bringing down other black women. An American comedian and actress, Monique knows about it all too well. It started back in 2009 when Monique was supposed to do a press tour for her film Precious. Surprisingly, the film was co-produced by Oprah and Tyler Perry. The original plan was to do this tour after the Oscars all because the producers wanted to take full advantage of all the hype revolving around Monique's nominations. She even won an award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in Precious. And the winner is... Monique. In Precious, based on the novel Push by Sapphire. This is the first Academy Award and nomination for Monique. However, Monique didn't want to go on tour. Now she had her reasons, two to be specific. One, she wasn't getting paid for it, and second, she was too drained from all the work and wanted to stay home with her family. Now at first, everyone seemed cool with her decision. But one day Monique woke up to some shocking news. Apparently, everyone was saying that she was difficult to work with and by connecting all the dots, Monique realized that Oprah was the one behind the rumors. Now, Monique demanded an apology from Oprah because her career was badly affected by the news. Not to mention, Oprah called Monique's brother and parents on her show. Now this was all kinds of wrong because everyone knew that Monique's brother had essayed her when she was seven and her parents sided with her brother. Following the incident, Monique cut off her family for good. I was hurt and, you know, trying to figure this thing out. She never said my mother was coming on that show because had Oprah Winfrey said, I'm gonna have your mother, I would have said, shut it down. So the fact that Oprah invited them onto the show was completely unethical. And what's more concerning is that Monique demanded an apology from Oprah following the incident. But Oprah didn't apologize, either privately or publicly. Looks like Oprah was fine with everyone dragging her like that in public. Unfortunately, Monique is only one name on a long list of celebrities who have been done dirty by Oprah. Oprah has beef with 50 Cent too, and it happened after the rapper called her out for saying that his music promotes violence. Every time she made a mention to hip-hop culture, it was something that was wrong with it. And it was something that was on my CD that was the largest debut in hip-hop out. You, you're looking at it and you're saying that everything that's wrong with our culture is why I'm a success. Wow. So when I actually got a chance to talk to her, she was like, I never thought about it like that. In another incident, Oprah went on to make a documentary on Russell to expose him for the essay allegations against him. 
The part that left fans surprised was that she was on this mission even after Russell had been cleared of all charges. He even passed a lie detector test. On the other hand, Oprah remained close friends with Harvey Weinstein and Epstein. Now these two were accused of the same things but Oprah never addressed the allegations, so 50 Cent went ahead and called her out for her hypocrisy. He wrote an Instagram post, saying, I don't understand why Oprah is going after black men. No Harvey Weinstein, no Epstein. Just Michael Jackson and Russell Simmons, this stuff is sad. Gail hit R. Kelly with the Death Blow documentary. Every time I hear Michael Jackson, I don't know whether to dance or think about the little boy's butts. These documentaries are publicly convincing their targets, it makes them guilty until proven innocent. Some even say that 50 Cent was on to Harvey because Oprah made a private call to Harvey where she asked him to fight back and that he had her full support. Let's talk about what's happening with Harvey Weinstein. I know you posted on Facebook already, but you haven't kind of spoken yet publicly mm -hmm. about what's going on. I think that this is, I'm always trying to look for the rainbow in the cloud, the whatever is the silver lining. And this is what I do know for sure. In a shocking interview, Oprah avoided the question about Harvey and said that they shouldn't talk about him. She didn't shed light on Harvey or the accusations. Instead, she went on to talk about how the entire incident was a watershed moment. 50 women coming forward, that it's a watershed moment. And what I do believe is actually happening is that, first of all, it's triggering a lot of unreleased pain, yeah. repressed anger, guilt, and suffering that a lot of women have had. It's kind of baffling how Oprah didn't waste a second to bash a black man and yet stood by a white man for years. With all the evidence laid out, it's kinda hard to ignore Oprah's hidden agenda against other black artists. It's like she wants to maintain her power and control and doesn't want anyone to take her spot. Well, that ain't healthy competition. And Kat's pointing it out. And you might as well stop fucking trying. Oprah Winfrey done made nine billion goddamn dollars and motherfuckers still be talking shit about Oprah with nine bit. You should be able to kill a motherfucker just by saying nine billion in a direction. Just nine billion, nigga, nine billion. You better duck, nigga, nine billion. Did you hear the billion? That said, she's not the only one on the block that black artists need to look out for. Tyler Perry has also been known to put down black women and men and one of his victims is Brandon J. J uploaded a video on TikTok where he talked about how it was like working with Tyler. For those of you who don't know, Tyler played the character of Josh in Tyler Perry's sitcom, Meet the Browns. Now when Jay first auditioned for the role, his character was a high schooler who was getting bullied. But Tyler decided to change the script last minute and gave him the character of someone who was gay and had a crush on his bully. This made the fans think that he was projecting his own feelings onto black men. Sources reveal that Tyler has also been exploiting young black artists like Oprah. It looks like the two are cut from the same cloth, and Cat Williams wants to make sure that the world knows about all the shady stuff these two get up to. Who knows? He might just be able to put an end to their games this way. And that's it today. What do you think about the entire situation? Do Tyler Perry and Oprah actually have an agenda against black actors? Will more artists step forward to reveal the truth? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We will see you next time with more updates from the celebrity world.